how are you guys doing um this is miguel showing you a couple of mods that i did to my glock 23 this mod you could do it to any type of glock um i believe gen 3 and gen 4 um that's the only ones that i have touched so um this is how to get a better trigger pull and if you see right here this trigger is supposed to be like all the way over here and uh, now it's all the way over here it's flat I'm gonna show you how I did that all right and if you see look at the wall that it, uh, that it has it has you hear the wall that is the only wall that it has okay so that's the wall bang check out the reset bang reset bang Okay, let me show you how I did that. All right, uh, if you see in there, let me see if you can see it better this way. You see in there, you're gonna see that piece of metal. In there I drew a hole inside here and I glue it with um, with a gorilla glue I believe so it's still a little bit wet so I just did that right now so um, you have to make sure you don't you don't do it like um all the way over here let me make a little drawing so you could understand what I'm saying all right this is what what you see in there right my piece of metal is around here all right some people put it right here I like it over here you can't you know you can't do it all the way over here because then you're gonna have a lot of problems all right you want to avoid that the piece of metal rests right here so when you clock it back it goes over here and it stops in this metal that I put here all right why is that if you see here and I pull this you see the the metal hitting that little metal that I put there Once I do that and this moves, you can see that the trigger moves too. So original from factory, this will go all the way to the wall right here. And now I put it to stop over here with this metal that avoids from touching this other wall right here. If you see this is a line, I don't know if you can see that line, that is the mark that I did to be able to just know where am I going to drill and um, put this little metal so they can make it stop okay this that will make your trigger stop right there All right the other thing that you have to do you see this security right here This that security goes like um let me draw it over here. It goes like this. 
and then it goes like that. So it's just like that, right? So what I did is I cut this little piece right here to make it just a whole piece, you know, a whole solid piece. And I just cut that. And then from there, I started cutting piece by piece to see where it likes it, right? I don't suggest you to cut more than this line over here that goes, you know, together with this because you're going to have a lot of problems, all right? It might not work, so you might have to replace uh, that security from your trigger, right? So you have to cut these to be able to just make the trigger safe, right? So it won't go anywhere if you don't press this, okay? Because that's what you want. You want to keep set, uh, the gun safety, right? And that's something very important. See? That's what you want, right? So you have to know how you do that. If you don't do it the right way, you're going to have a lot of problems. Okay, so that's one thing I did, right? The other thing I did to this gun to be able to have a better trigger, I think this is around two and a half in trigger pull. Last time I checked it, um, and that's pretty good. Just doing all those tricks that I know. Uh, thanks to um, Johnny Glock. Uh, he is, he's a god on, on Glocks, right? So, um, you can go ahead and look for him in YouTube, Johnny Glock. Um, I'm always seeing his videos and, um, he knows a lot about Glocks and that's how I have learned all of this and I just love it, right? So, um, these are the piece of metal that I use to stick it in there those piece of metal right there those are the ones that you put inside the plastic that is that little metal right there okay this trick, not everybody knows it, but it's something yeah. that is very reliable and it's going to help you a lot to have a better trigger, all right? So that's what you want. So another thing that I did, right? This is my uh, slide. This is a Gen 3 slide with a Gen 4 uh, lower. To be able to fit this Gen 3 in, in Gen 4, you have to buy this spacer that you see right here. This one right here. They sell it in Heavy Armor. So you go to heavyarmor.com and check out the website and um, get this metal right here. To be able to just um, not have a space there all right because if you don't do that you're gonna have a big space there that you're not gonna like it all right one of the other things that i did since i'm running a compensator my spring is 11 pound and um <laughs> it works totally perfect i have shot more than um 200 rounds and it's just smooth no misfires no jamming no nothing okay another thing that i have done is the plunger all right the plunger has a i think it's a belief so it's a wolf competition spring and uh what i did to it is that i 
cut the spring a little piece, just a little piece, so it can have, uh, it could be more smoother and more better to just press. This is just very light, so it makes it lighter, all right? So that will help get a bigger, a better trigger pull. So that's what you're getting. You just want to get a very, a very um, light trigger. And the only way you could do that is by doing all these tricks, all right? Um, I have a competition spring on the striker. And I believe I already ordered a two pound spring. Right now I have a six pound spring and I'm getting a two to see if I can do much better than what I have right now. So um, that's about it. If any questions do you have, um, I have another video with all the things that I have put to this gun. Um, look for it in my page and you can have, um, there's the information of all the companies that have helped me make this gun. So you go ahead and um, find them in my page and visit the website and get it yourself. All right. So that's about it. I hope you have learned. Oh, another thing that I'm missing. Inside there, there's a connector. Uh, let me see if I can find a connector. Um, well, let me just show it to you guys so you can see it. What what is what that I did to it, right? Use this. This works amazing. <laughs> this remove this okay I'm using the Avenger and if you see they normally okay Here's what I'm telling you in the drawing so you can see it better, all right? Do not go over this edge right here because you're going to have a lot of problems, all right? This, that's like one third of this metal right here, all right? One, two, three. Like one, two, three. Don't pass more than one third because you're gonna have a lot of problems, okay? Another thing, uh, this Avenger, all of them, they stick out a lot. They, they do stick out a lot. How I like it, I like to run it like more tight inside, all right? So that will help you get a much better trigger pull all right why because this that's a big big um one that i did there but working on it that will create a lot of friction between this metal and this other metal and you don't want that you want to avoid a lot of frictions all right so you have to like try to bend it a little bit more so it don't make a lot of friction, right? Those little details will help you a lot, right? Um, I'm still running the six pound competition, right? Because the four, it just don't work for me. It just don't. I seen, uh, I think Johnny, was uh, has a kit that um, he uses 
I think I believe it's a four. I don't know. But um, I just like how it feels with the competition spring. I always put a little bit of um, grease there. The grease that I use is this one. All right. So when you put this right there, this is like this. It's very slippery. It is very, very slippery. All right. If you see, you have to, sometimes you have to like hold it. And um, if you see, okay, I don't know if you, okay, right there. You see that goes right there and touches this wall. All right. So that avoids that this trigger goes to like too much like this, All right? So I like to keep it flat. A flat trigger is a better pull, All right? And this is what I'm talking about. If you see right there, oh, sorry, right there, I cut that little piece, all right? So you have to make sure you know what what you're doing because you don't want to cut too much, all right? For me, there's a line, a measurement line. I don't know if you can see it, all right? Okay, right here, that's my dead end. That's my, like, that's like the dead end. You cannot go lower than that because it'll mess it up. You have to get another one, all right? All right, so there you have it. Put it right there. Okay. Right there. Too much try to make it like even not to make it even right there because you want this notch right there to rest with this spring right here okay Perfect. I don't know if you guys can see that. Pause it and zoom it, but that one is went perfect, right? You have to make sure it's more to for this wall to this wall than to the trigger because then the trigger will start scraping there, right? There you go. Now it went soft and smooth. Um, everything there, everything there. Double check, everything went perfect. Okay. But that's about it. Lock 23, lower Gen 4, with upper Gen 3. 
with a light trigger pull, okay? So if anything, comment down below. You're like, peace out.